please stop me if um, you know there's questions because that's really what I wanted the most of was questions today um, so I can help direct what people want to know. But I'll go with the basics and then we'll just kind of go from there. Um, and in an hour or less, um, if we're done before 12, that's great. I have to hop off at 12. So um, we can also do some follow-up training too. This could just be to get some people I know, some of you have already been messing around with Canva. But this really is meant to help you get a better understanding and ask questions because um, it's easier, like I said, for me to direct. I am just getting my screen shared. All right, can I get a thumbs up that you guys can see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh. I was like, anybody, anybody? I feel like I'm on my own this morning. Um, okay, so um, where shall we start? When you get your Canva account, um, I did a little bit of training on this yesterday morning because it was kind of last minute on one of our Zooms. Um, so uh, I was speaking really fast on that one yesterday. If you were on this, I will try to slow down a little bit. But like I said, and if you could just unmute, and there's not a lot of us on here, so just unmute and ask questions. I need to admit some more people in here. I got to make sure I'm watching that too. Um, don't Try not to type them in the chat. Just unmute yourself and ask because... I can't, it, it's hard for me to see that chat going when I have my screen shared too at the same time. Um, so the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is if you want to be able to use an application on your phone solely um, that is for graphical design, you're, you're number one going to have a little bit of a hard time because your phone just can't do as much things as you can do on a computer. And you could find maybe like four or five apps and use each different one of them for different reasons. Um, and have them on your phone and try to make it all happen the way Canva can. Um, but what I have found is this does not work the same on, and I think it's a lot of the reasons why people um, stop using Canva or don't end up getting, it's why I stopped. I like started it a couple of times and stopped because I was trying to do it for my phone. Couldn't understand how people were making these crazy, incredible, cool graphics. Um, when I couldn't make it work on my phone, it just didn't seem right. So one day I just decided, let, let me go try Canva on my computer, see if it's any different. Cause man, I mean, this girl is like created a unicorn company. It's a billion dollar company. It's, um, literally it's, there's gotta be something to it. So I was like, I gotta go check this out. So I got on the computer and realized, wow, totally different, um, <laughs> scenario on a computer. I got a few people, um, waiting, hang on. Let me just get some people in here and mute. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna keep you guys muted unless um, you have a question. Okay. Um, so what I found is, if you can do this on a computer, I'm not saying that you can't make things happen on a phone, um, but I would definitely start on a computer. And you can always everything. One great thing about Canva is you never have to worry about saving anything. It's like as long as you're online, it is it is updating every time you move a letter. Um, so you can. Um, you can access everything from your phone. You're, you can access all your designs that you've designed and I'll always download them very easily on your phone when you're on the go if you're wanting to post a graphic. But my advice is to try to, if you're going to do some major designing, um, do that on a computer because you, will, you, will, you won't be as frustrated and you can just do way more. Um, it's, just, it's just so much better there. So that is my biggest piece of advice of this whole thing is if you're going to use Canva, try to start from your um, computer. And then if you need to edit from your phone, edit from your phone. Just don't try to get all crazy, cool, like adventure on your phone. Cause it's just going to frustrate you more than it should. Um, if you, like I said, in the beginning, if you're looking for an application that will do everything that Canva will do all in one application that will work from your phone, that is mostly free. I have not found that yet. So, um, if you find it, please share. Um, Jojo, I've admitted you a couple times. I don't know why it's not letting you in. Um, so let me try that again. Okay. Um, so let's start up here where your menu is at on your left hand side. Um, you're going to use this a lot. Um, the dashboard you're seeing right here is just where it logs you into on Canva. Um, I will tell you this, there is a free version of Canva. You can do a ton with the free version. However, some of the things I'm going to show you guys today, they do change things every once in a while. So 
Um, I apologize if I show you something and is not on the free version, but their paid for pro version is only $12 a month or $12.95 a month. So even if you wanted to be able to have the pro version and have something that costs a little bit of money, it's not excessive. Like I know there's some apps out there that charge a whole lot more. And to me, $12.95 or whatever they charge for their pro version is worth every single penny because I mean, I run a couple of businesses, so I'm creating a lot of graphics all the time and it's, it's worth it to me because it just gives me more ability, but you can do so much from the free account. So don't think you have to pay for anything to be able to do any of this. Um, your, let's see, let's, let's start here. When you are on recommended for you, this is just some things that will come up. It's got some of my recent designs, some Instagram stuff that they're recommending. Um, they, they put so much content in here, you guys, that you can utilize and change to your own. You really don't have to go anywhere else to get any ideas. I mean, Pinterest is great. I get some ideas off there, but there's so much stuff that you can just search in here. You can create your own logos and branding. It is just the coolest thing ever. Um, I actually saved some things that I needed to do this morning for you guys so I could show you how I do it um, and walk you through it. Um, like I had a couple couple more people hit um, uh, triple commissions that had sent me their pictures and I was like, I'm going to save that for a while we're doing the training so I can show people how I'm doing it. So if you're wanting to just get some ideas and search some templates, you can go up to this design anything and you can literally just search anything like I wanted to put a contest together for our team on the breast cancer awareness DFT. So I just put in, I went to this. And typed in. And it brings up so much stuff, right? There was a lot for me to choose from. And know that when you see any of this stuff, this is kind of a down the road when you're getting a little bit better at it, you can pretty much take an element from any of these things and add it to your own if you want to go search for it and grab it and move it over to your own. But you can also use this as a template. Let's just say uh, we, want to, we want to use this one and you can click on it. It's going to bring it up on your now, your dashboard where you can start editing it. And everything in here is now editable. Editable, is that a word? Um, it can be edited. Um, you can change the colors of it. Up here is your, um, is gonna be your, um, the bar where you, get, you can change your font. You can change the font of this to anything that's, um, oh, my computer's running slow while I'm sharing screen. So um, all the fonts are over here. You can change this, totally change this font to something else. Um, you can change the color of it. You can change the background of it. Um, the, uh, you can change the color of the font by going here. Um, you can just click on the whole image, see how it's highlighted the whole image here because I've clicked on it. Right here is showing the background color. I can go change the whole background color. I mean, obviously this is not what you would want to design, but I'm just showing you. <laughs> Let me make sure there's nobody else sitting in the participants. Um, I probably should have had somebody watching that for me. I knew there was people sitting there. Um, okay. Hey Jess, can you show them how, like, for example, how you did the teal background, like say you didn't like that instantly? Cause that took me forever to figure out too. Like, and you wanted to take it off. Um, well, you just go back up here and you can change the color. Or you mean to just go back one step? So like undo, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the undo button is up here. So if you get in your spot, thank you for, please pipe in at any of those things, Sid, where there was like, cause you and I both have gone, oh my God, that's seven days. I'm never gonna get back of my life because Canva makes things so simple, stupid, you guys, that you would think it would be much harder to do some of the things that, and then once you realize how easy they made it, you're like, oh my God, that's genius. Um, but sometimes it takes us a little while to figure out all those little tricks. So you can just go up to this arrow and click the back button so that it undoes what you just did to it. The other thing, you don't have to do a solid color for a background. So you can actually go over here to the menu that's now popped up because you're in your editing screen and you can go to the background and you can change the background to any of these things and you can search backgrounds. So like, um, let's just say ribbons and you can actually choose what kind of color ribbons you want to come up um, for backgrounds. Now, I don't know if ribbons actually has any backgrounds, so that's probably not something that I should have searched, but um, let me hit undo because like Sydney said, uh-oh, how did I do that? 
let's get out of there. I don't like that. Um, but you can choose all kinds of different backgrounds and then you can always back out of it. Um, okay, I'm gonna come back into an editing screen in just a minute. I was just wanting to show you first that you could pick any template that they have um, and see, this is already saved in my recent design. Don't want it there, don't need it, but um, it's there. <laughs> Let me, um, I, I can see more people trying to join too. Okay, we're good. Um, so this, your left-hand side menu, the, if you ever get like lost and you're like, okay, I'm in a design, I want out of this, just go up and hit your home button. You have templates up here that you can start searching through features. I don't think I've ever looked in features and there is learning videos in here, you guys. So you can go and learn more on how to do different things in here. Um, so your left-hand menu is going to be all your designs. Okay. So <laughs> this is everything that I've been messing with lately. Um, and it just saves everything that you even touch. So <laughs> there's going to be stuff in here that looks kind of weird like this. I was playing with yesterday while showing people how to do some things. Um, then there is shared with you. So these are things like um, if I share, there's a lot of stuff that I share with um, Sydney and Sunshine on working on some of our projects. If I, and I'll show you how to share later, um, when they go into their Canva account, they can go to the shared with you and anything that I've shared with them as my team, um, they can get access to. Your brand kit, which makes me extremely happy because it, you can you can throw your colors into a template or onto a, um, what do they call it, a palette. Um, and so it's really easy when you're designing things to go back to the same color. So if you have a brand of some sort that you're kind of following, your own personal brand, and you use specific colors all the time, you'd want to put them in your brand kit so that they're always there and they kind of sit at the top of everything when you're designing stuff out. You can also put logos. You can also um, assign fonts that you use on a regular basis for your brand so that everything you design kind of always goes along the same path. We know we've been doing a lot of um, branding of ourselves lately and who we are. So just remember that when you create things, people notice when something is repetitive and they'll be like, oh yeah, that's Carrie Ann. Uh, oh yeah, I see those graphics all the time without even looking at it. I know that's Sydney that, you know, that created that. And it's just keeps people aware, who, aware of who you are. You use the same colors, the same kind of logos, the same kind of font. So that's if you're getting into making some more um, graphics like that. Um, the content planner, I will tell you, I have not tested out a lot, but I'm pretty excited about it because while you can't, Facebook won't allow integration to their personal yet. We're hoping that at some point that they will open that up to us, but they, the only API you can get for them is to plug into your business account or business profile or like a public figure page. But if you use those, you can plan content out on this calendar and drop your graphics right on the calendar and it will link to your Facebook account and post for you. I haven't tested this out yet. And the only reason is because my account is screwed up because of me losing my old Facebook account. This Canva account is actually attached to that. So I need to call Canva and have them unattach that old account and reattach my new business account. So I can't show you how to use this part yet, um, but that could be like a future training because I know most people just wanna know how to design things. Um, folders are great for organizing things. So create as many as you can on a free account. I can't remember what the difference is to be honest with you. I keep everything in folders because it keeps me super organized because I'm creating so much stuff and all my folders are kind of down here. Um, let's see, uh, you can upload your own photos to this, um, but I'm going to show you, I don't really ever use it here. I use it when I'm in an actual design. So let's go. Um, Jess, to, can yeah. you add Jean back in? She accidentally closed out. Yep. Give me one second. Thank you. Sorry. No, we've got a couple people in there. Thank Jess, you. do you want me to log in as Carrie Ann and just do that for you? That would be amazing. So then I don't have to keep stopping in case people um, get bumped right. out or need to log back in. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to um, design right here. This is one of my favorites and I can actually share some things with you guys um, via links in the chat if you want the templates for these. That's the cool thing too. You can share all your stuff with people. Okay, Canva makes me super excited. You have to ask Sydney and Sunshine are like, oh my God, stop. Canva can do everything. And um, we already know that and we understand how much you love it. And Sunshine just doesn't care for Canva very much. so. <laughs> it's a funny conversation all the time. So while Sydney's getting back in here, 
Mm. Okay, so I accidentally did this this morning when from my phone. This is what will frustrate you about a phone. I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to. And Ken just got welcomed as Renee Martin um, as a brand promoter. I'm just kidding. That's a template that this is a template that I use. I screwed this up this morning, so I'm gonna fix it really quick. And by showing you an element, elements are the coolest thing. Now, when you're in your design, there's a bunch of different things you can see here on the left-hand side menu. This is where you can upload your own photos. If you want to integrate your own photos, this is where you can search photos that Canva already has for you. I'm going to show you those too. And there's elements, text, styles. I don't, oh, this is if you want, see, this is where my brand colors are going to sit. If I want, they did just recently change that. And they give you some ideas of what, what designers, Canva designers, what colors they would put together to make it matchy matchy look nicey nicey, right? So they give you some. Now, Canva has really started doing some like moving graphics. So you can add music to graphics. You can add video to graphics. So there's a lot more that we can do, but I'm not going to get into any of that today or we will get like completely squirreled and sidetracked. Again, you got backgrounds um, and then your folder so that you can always save stuff to your folders. And I can pull stuff up here if I've already used, oh God, I could get you guys so confused. I'm not gonna go there. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a 102 training. Um, okay, so let's go back to um, elements. I was gonna show you guys. Um, so down here in your frames, these are, these are once you get them onto your template or once you get them onto your graphic i'm going to show you what you can do to them i was looking for just a square one. Oh, there we go okay so this is a little tip because it frustrated the you know what out of me i just hit that and i actually just wanted it to be a square inside of this and it took me forever to figure out why did it take my whole background away and throw that up all i have to do is drag this down and make it whatever shape size I want. Oops. Okay, here's another learning lesson. That just dropped behind my, um, whatever you wanna call this, my filtered square that I kind of just have on here for a, a kind of like a frame. And I don't want this, um, I don't want that picture behind it, I want it in front of it. So I can just go, you know, move that out of the way a little bit. I can click on it. And these are going to be different on a Mac versus a um, desktop. So you have to just know how you can select things on yours. Um, on a Mac, it's control and then right click. Um, and this is where you can bring forward or move things back. So I'm going to bring it forward because I want it in front of that. And then I can just move my, my framing again behind it. Now, I want this a little bit bigger. So you just move you know, the pieces on it, the little tabbies you can drag click and drag at them to make them any size you want. Now, once this on here, this is kind of a template. And by the way, do you see those little pink lines that, that pop up? That helps you keep everything centered on your graphics. So you'll never wonder if you have it on center or not. I love that. It's one of my favorite pieces because I would never be able to eyeball things like that. Um, so now I have this in here and I can just drag and drop photos into it instead of trying to um, trying to put a new photo on there every time like I tried to do on my phone this morning so I needed to fix that so now that that's there it's kind of that anything you see with a little that little landscapey blue with a cloud on it 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 means you can drag and drop a photo into it so um now I can drag and drop Ken into it now we cut off his head a little bit with this so I'm gonna click on Ken and I can just move him more centered in my picture right so now he's there. And I know some of this is just going to be you guys getting in and playing with it. Now, he did not just come welcome to the Thrive Life. He actually, um, this is one graphic I have in this set. If I scroll down, there's a blank template I could start over um, that I've actually, um, I'm going to show you. This is one question that Don Stevenson had was how to um, kind of filter things a little bit, how you can see that one looks a little bit more like lighter. And I'm going to show you some tricks. Okay. What I was actually trying to do was make him triple qualified. And I have, um, I can share this, this um, template with you guys if you have people that hit. I grabbed uh, this graphic out of the cloud office and just snipped it and I uploaded it as an image. As you can see, here's tons of images that I've uploaded um, in here. So here's, here's the one I snipped the other day. And I'm gonna show you how to do that too. Um, so I made this graphic a while ago. I just change out like, which one it is 
and I throw, um, I'm going to throw an element back on here because as I said this morning, I screwed up my own template, which can happen when you're messing with things from your phone. <laughs> Okay, so I had a couple people that still hit triple. And I wanted to show you guys how I go and upload their pictures too, okay? So go up here to upload image. It's gonna ask you where you wanna upload the image from. Mine's on my computer. I saved these on purpose so that I could upload a few things that I needed to show you guys some stuff. So Amanda hit triple. And um, I wanted to show you how to do customer rewards. Nicole hit triple and I have a retail customers thing I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna select all of those, just hit enter and all of them go into my, this is the only thing I will tell you is a downfall about Canva and I'm hoping they're working on a fix for this is that there's no files of how to organize all your photos. So everything I've ever uploaded, like if it's something I've uploaded forever ago, it's like way down here and I gotta go find it, right? So that's one thing I'm hoping that they do um, fix in Canva is having something that's a little bit easier to find your uploaded photos. Um, so I just drag and drop Amanda into here. Obviously her face is covered up. We don't want that. So I'm gonna click on it and see how I can maybe readjust the photo a little bit. See how that looks. And if I don't like how she's centered in here, I can move all kinds of stuff around you guys. I can just, you know, it doesn't have to be 100% centered. I could make it a little bit off. I can also, let me hit back. Okay, she's back to where she was, but this thing's like hitting her in the head. I don't want that, okay? So I can grab this whole thing by clicking and dragging, oops, I gotta be careful, everything that it selects. Uh, it selected too many things. So let me see. I can grab them separately and just move this over here and move this back on top of it. But I'm gonna show you another instance where it doesn't grab all the elements and you can move them together. And then I just change her name. And voila, I have that one done. And now here's a tip. <laughs> it took me forever to learn. You can add a new page to your whole lineup here and all it's gonna do is add you a like a blank canvas, okay? That's not what I want. Um, if I want to just duplicate what this is and make it for another person, I this right here, duplicate page. I'm, I won't even go into the whole story about how I cost myself seven days on creating a daily, weekly, monthly templates for people and was creating and dragging elements down into every single month. It was crazy. And then I figured out that little button meant duplicate the whole thing. So hopefully that helps you. So I do I duplicated that because I also need to make one for Nicole. So I can come down here, grab Nicole's photo. Obviously we don't want their heads chopped off. So I'm gonna double click on it and move her and her cute little hubby down a little bit, click off the picture, voila. Now she's good. And I've got both of them to go. Now, I wanna save both these so I can post them. I like posting to Facebook from my phone, not my computer. So now what? All right, well, I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna download these to my computer, but when I go to actually post these after we jump off of this, I'm gonna go back into my phone on my app that looks just a little bit different and I'm gonna download them to my phone, um, which is just as easy to do. Um, so let me show you how do you download something to your computer. You go up here to your top right of your menu. There's a little arrow. Um, see, you can publish directly to Facebook. There's a couple of different things that you can see. I need to, I need to mess with that. There's a couple of different things you can do with publishing direct to um, places like right, it, it brings up a whole different, a whole menu over here of things you can do, but we're just going to download to our computer. It's suggesting a PNG, which is a high quality image. That's generally what you want. Um, when you click download, um, oops, I don't want to do that. I don't want all pages. I only want the two graphics I just made in this whole lineup. I don't want all of them. So I'm going to go through here and go, okay, this is graphic four and five. You can see that up here, page five. So it's graphic four and graphic five, and I'm gonna hit done, and I'm gonna hit download. 
and it's going to prepare my designs and it will pop up on my window and, I'm, and I just save them to my computer. Okay, so your everybody's computer is different. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, okay, so any, any let me stop for a second. Is there any questions on any of that? I don't think there's anything in here I can't share with you guys. So I'm going to do something for you really quick. So you have these just so you can play with exactly what I just showed you. Um, I'm going to take this and copy. I'm going to copy. Um, okay, this is how you share something with somebody, you guys. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go up and hit share. I've got my, see my team. I've, I've made it so that they can edit and they can view. So anybody who's on my team, which I you have to pay for members to be on your team so that's not something you necessarily want to do but you can go down and just grab the link i copied it i'm going to go to the chat here right where it's at and i'm going to hit paste now when you go and you do that and you open it up via the link so i'm going to try to do it for you guys okay there so this is as if you just hit the link and then you went into your own account. What I want you to do is go up here right away and save it as, um, your own file, okay? What is that? That's something new. Oh, Allison. Oh, interesting. It means Allison grabbed the link and I can see that. Um, I, <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's something new that just popped up. Okay, let me move this out of my way. Canva loves to pop up 100 new windows. I'm gonna go back home, all my designs and go back in here. Okay, so now you guys have the link to that, but something else I wanted to show you on here, if you're like, okay, well, that's great, Jessica, but I don't like the background of this. So you can click on this and I go to my uploaded photos and I have, I already know, I have tons of um, Laval graphics. So like, say I want this one as the background instead, I don't want the one that's on there. So you can just highlight, like I said, the whole picture. So let me click off of it. Here's Ken, I'm highlighted on him. I know it says Renee, but it's Ken. Um, if you go and you just click somewhere on here to grab it so it highlights the entire image, then you know you're gonna change the background. So say I wanna change it to this. Oops, it didn't do it. So let me um, tell you this, there's another trick. So that just wants to put the picture on my image. Oops, <laughs> see how easily it can. That's why Sydney was like, show them the back button because that just happened because that has a um, one of those template images in there. So I can easily drag and drop a photo in there, but I don't want it there. I want it as a backdrop. So I just hit the back button. Now on my Mac, I hit contr control and right click and I can see where it comes up, replace background. Now I apologize if you're not on a Mac, you'll have to figure out what that is. It's probably like alt or control or something and then right or left click. Um, I can hit replace background. Okay, now you're like, well, wow, that one's really bright. The other one wasn't so bright. How do you make it so it's not bright? Okay, so you click on the background and I'm, I keep having to move you guys out of the way, so sorry. Up here, there's a menu now. You can hit effects and I have to apologize because some of this, actually, that's not how you lighten this. I wanna show you background remover. I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but a background remover, I just have to tell you is not part of the free version. I thought it was, and someone corrected me in the training yesterday. So you, if you are um, somebody who's going to do a lot of graphics and you wanna be able to use background remover, I, I will tell you that upgrading the, to the 12.95 for the monthly, um, pro membership is totally worth just the background remover <laughs> once I show you. Okay, so um, to make this picture in the background lighter, up here on your right hand side, there's this um, where it kind of shows things getting lighter. It says transparency when you hover over it. Just click on that. It'll bring up a um, little, whatever you want to call this, graphy movie thingy, transparency, and you can lighten it or you can darken it. Okay. So you just want that to be kind of a background. So you're gonna wanna make it a little bit lighter, good to go. And I know I'm gonna say this specifically because this is one thing that Dawn Stevenson was asking for. Um, when we are putting things on graphics that, how did I do this bar and how did I make it see through? Okay, so I'm just gonna delete it and I'm gonna create a new one. So you're gonna go over to your elements 
just think of elements as little things that you want to use and put into your graphics and be able to mess with. Okay. And you kind of, like I said, have to just get in here and start getting creative and messing with things. But I know that I took this square. Okay. I know that looks really crazy, <laughs> but now I'm, I want it to be a bar all the way across my um, graphic where her name is housed. Right. Cause I want to highlight her. So you just have to mess with the shape that you bring in to the element. And I don't want it green because I've already got a green little thing around his photo up here. I want it to be that color so I can leave it solid. Or the one thing that Dawn was asking about was um, how do you make it transparent? Again, you just go up to the transparency button to make sure your select, your, the element you're trying to change is selected. And now you can make it as transparent as you want, or you can move it back over it. You can also do it over an entire graphic. So um, let's say you like this. It's we've made it a little bit transparent, right? We can darken it up a little bit. We can lighten it up a little bit, but I want a really great overlay of the whole picture. I just want it to look a little yellow. I don't know why you would, but just roll with me here. Maybe it's a photo of you and you just want it to look a little more um, yellow. Okay. So you would, you would grab you'd grab a square again or whatever shape you want. Maybe you want to only do a circle over the top of this that looks a little transparent yellow. You can make it whatever size you want. You can go to the transparency button and you can, you can, um, you know, change it how you want it. That's how I did the square behind their picture to kind of give it a frame, but you can do that on anything and you can literally make any, almost any element you can, you have transparency ability to do that. Um, I'm going to pause again. Is there any questions about what I just did before I keep moving? Okay. Um, I love arrows. <laughs> so over in your elements, you guys, you can, you can literally pick anything you want. I mean, I'm telling you Canva has so much stuff that you can pick anything you want. So you can go up here and type, I will type arrows a lot because you can use them. Now, this is what I want to tell you one thing about the difference between free and the paid version. There's tons of elements and tons of photos in the free version, so don't think you have to pay for this. But if you want all of the options, you're going to want to upgrade, but you can select. This is one thing I do like. They don't trick you. When you go and select arrow in here, you can. Um, there's a couple different things you can select. You can say, I only want blue arrows. I only want static. I don't want things that move. Um, or I only want something that's moving on my graphic. Um, and the other thing you can select the differences. I only want free images because I don't have a paid for account. So I don't want them to show me anything that's not, um, that's not free. So let me just click free, apply filters. Everything that's in here now I know is free. It's not going to try to charge me for it. Um, the biggest mistake you can make is not clicking one of those and you don't have a paid account. Don't think that you're all of a sudden just going to be charged because you moved something over to your um, graphic. When you go to download it, it's going to tell you that you have a balance due of like, I don't know, 50 cents or whatever it is they're charging for that element. <laughs> it's genius, genius business on her part. Um, it, and then it's going to make you out of payments. Um, so the last thing you want to do is design an entire graphic and have like love the elements in it. Then you go to download it and you're like, oh crap, that's going to cost me. And you don't have a pro account because um, the pro account pretty much gives you all of those things included. So, um, but these are free. So this arrow free, let's just say I wanted to point something out on his forehead or I want to point at his nose. Just kidding. He loves when I use him as a demo for demo purposes. Um, you can also change the color of this. Some of the elements you can't change the color of, a lot of them you can. So let's say that I want it to be bright pink. I can change it to bright pink. Let's say I want to flip it. I can flip it horizontal or I can flip it vertical. So I can change. These are one of the things that if you try to do this on your phone, I haven't figured out a way to always do what I want these things to do. That's why I like designing on my computer. Um, obviously, I can change the size of it. Um, I can also change, you know, how it um, what degree it's at. I guess that's the proper terminology, right? Okay. I'm going to delete that element. Um, okay. One thing I want to show you, because I created these the other day for everybody and they loved them. They are super easy to do. Let me go back to the home screen. Um, these are the 
so here's the other thing. Let's just say I'm going to create something brand new. Um, I, this top right hand side, create a design. It's going to ask you what you want. You can put in a custom sizing or they have things that are already done for you, like the Pinterest pin, Instagram post, um, Facebook cover. I mean, they have a bunch of stuff in here already that's pre-sized and I think you can even, oh yeah, well, Facebook story is here. So let's just say Facebook story. It's gonna size it for you. So you don't even have to guess. And it's gonna bring up a ton of ideas that you can use, right? Again, up in this filter thing, you can filter, say you only wanna find blue things. You can apply that. Um, I didn't even know that this uh, language thing was there. Um, and then you can, you can bring a lot of times if I'm like, I want to design something cool today, but I don't really know what I want on there. And I don't know what I want it to look like. So I'll just start and then I'll find one that I like, and then I can totally adjust it. Like, look, they used a moving picture in this. Um, great for your stories. That's why all those apps and everything that they have out there, you don't really need them after you have Canva because you can create everything in here and you can add pages. So you I mean, I don't want to just add a blank page. So you can you can copy this and make like six in a row, just adjust them for for what you want on here. I'm gonna use an example. I'm gonna to go to my uploads because we're all thrivers here. Um, let's say I want to make this all about treat and I want to do like three in a row for my stories. Let me see if I can make this the background. Whoa. Okay, that's not going to work, right? So I need to adjust. Um, this is, that is a background photo. So let's see. Okay, let's just say that that works for now because I don't want to waste time on trying to figure out how to size all that for you guys right now. But you can change all of these elements on here. So I love that they already came up with what I was looking for and I can change the colors out on their entire thing. Um, if this one has in there, this is like two tones. That's why I did it when I when I click that color, if I want it, um, I can't necessarily change that they've already picked this to be two tones. So I'll just change both my colors to the color I want it to be. You can tell they've used some transparency. I need it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit. Um, I may not want that there or I can put the price here of my product. You know, you can do, you can just do all kinds of things. Okay. And then let's say the next one, you want to duplicate this because you still want it to be about treat and you're going to do like three stories in a row, but this one you want a different picture on and you want it to be, sometimes you do have to drag your picture around a little bit on here to get it to do what you want it to do. And if it doesn't just start over. Okay. Let's pretend that's the way I wanted it. <laughs> I'm just trying to be um, time, trying to keep track of the time too. Where are we at? 11.40, okay, we're good. Um, so that's how you can kind of create an entire line of stories, right? And you can do it all in one thing and then you can go to download. It will download every single one that you want downloaded. And then you can literally, when you're picking your stories, it will ask you like if you want to select multiple photos and you can have multiple go right in a row. So it's already done. Boom, 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 boom. Like seven in a row all about tree because that's all you want to talk about in that story. Or you can make your stories like I did in this one. And I, I want to show you, um, <laughs> for those of you who are willing to spend the $12.95 a month, I would do it because of, I, like I said, the background remover is like, <sighs> it's just to die for because that's how I do all of this. Um, okay, so I made all of these in one file so that they were super easy. Oh, somebody, edit. see, this is what happens when somebody, <laughs> that was you. <laughs> Kelly's like, that was me. I was like, whoa, what happened here? <laughs> so somebody edited my file. This is exactly what will happen if somebody doesn't rename their own file when they take it. It's totally okay, Kelly, it happens. Sorry, I had no idea what I was yeah. doing. And I, I share a link, the background uh, off of it, I was like, well, if this will work. <laughs> <laughs> anytime I share a link, I'm well aware that I either need to create my own because I know that that link is going to get destroyed by people doing their own stuff in there, which is totally fine. Um, so this is how I, I want to show you guys this one because I'm just going to redo it so I can show you exactly what I did. 
Um, everybody wanted this the other morning because we realized that treat you could use uh, credits on before that was over. And I was like, let me hurry and do it before I leave the house. So I hopped over to my computer because doing it from the, this from the phone would have been an absolute nightmare. And I went and I'm even going to show you, see if I can do this really quick. Let's pretend. Okay. So like, say I wanted the, the Thrive Bytes. It's going to be different on everybody's computer. Well, let's say it's going to be different on everybody's computer. Okay. How you snip, but you can snip anything you want. Okay. Now it just saved it for me. I know it gets saved on my computer. Yours might be different. Now let me go back to Canva. What happened to my Canva? There we go. Sometimes it's slow when we're sharing screen. Okay. So I, I did that. I went into, um, if uh, just a little tip for you guys, if you go into your cloud office and you go to resources and you pull up the PDFs, all the PDFs have great pictures in there. You can snip stuff out of, if you need help snipping, that's a different <laughs> zoom. <laughs> um, this is all about Canva. I don't want to go into the details of how to snip things. Um, but I'm happy to share that on, on another zoom if we need to. So I went and snipped off of the PDFs, all of the products that I wanted. And then I, um, I just went in and uploaded. So like, I just snipped that one. I know it's probably sitting in my recent, there's my screenshot. It was a DFT recharge. Um, I added to this. I mean, I know we're not going to use that right now, but I want to show you that that's how I grab all of these. And then I just upload them into here. So, okay. I want to add treat to this, but I don't want the background on it. I mean, maybe you do. I didn't. So if you have the paid for account and you want to have the background remover, you just click, make sure your photo is selected, go to effects, hit background remover. Just takes a minute for the program to do it for you. And I've never seen another program that takes the background off as fast and as perfect every single time without like having to hassle with it. But I also wanted a picture of a burger and a piece of pizza on here. So the people got the drift. Okay. So I go to photos and I had already searched for this. So it's already sitting up here. Okay. So I want the burger, but I don't want the background of the burger. Now this is one of Canva's photos, but I don't, that looks like a great burger, by the way, I'm getting hungry. Um, I can just go to effects at the background remover. Just takes a minute. It's got to do some thinking because what it, what it comes away with is so amazing. You can't believe they even do it that fast, right? Boom, background's gone. Make the burger as big or as little as I want to. Um, go back to photos. I want a piece of pizza. And again, make sure you're picking photos or images based on if you have a paid account or a free account. Um, I think... Ooh, I wonder if it would take the background off of that. I love testing the waters to see what will happen. <laughs> um, that looks so yummy. I need to eat. I think I gave it a run for its money this time because it's taking a little bit. Let's just wait another minute. It did it. Look at how amazing that looks, you guys. <laughs> like it does such a good job. That's why I love Canva so much. It seriously. Um, so that's how I did all of those. And that's how you can, oops, now I'm really screwing up the image. Um, that's how you can make really great graphics with our products on them, right? Because sometimes it would be really nice if we just had a whole file. Someday I'll get around to it. Or maybe one of you will get so good at Canva after this that you will do it for all of our teams. I'd love to have, like, I watch um, Young Living um, and a couple of other companies that have made some just phenomenal story graphics that are for them to grab and use. And that's why I kept, I kept these pretty generic. Because once you get them into your, your Facebook or Instagram stories, as you know, there's all kinds of elements you can use to customize them once you have them on your phone and you're ready to like post them in there. So there's that. Um, let's start from scratch on something really quick. Anybody have any questions? So the black label one that I did, all I needed was that filter on there to take that off and it yep. would have been fine. Okay. So here you go. Yep. What yep. a difference. 
Yeah, it does make right. a big difference. And it didn't pull the in between here. So it's not going to be perfect every single time. And if you did it and you're like, ooh, I liked it better with the background on it, you can just hit restore and it'll go back, I think. Oh, look at this. You can go in and erase it on your own. I mean, I would do a better job if I was working on it, but just so you know, you can go in there and manipulate it yourself if it wasn't perfect. I have not found very, very many that aren't perfect, just so you know. Um, yeah, so that's how I did all of these. These were all images I just snipped out of the cloud office and then removed the background from. So this is why I love Canva so much. <laughs> um, and I took this as a template first. There was a template I used that Canva um, gave that I started with first that had this little smudgy behind it. But again, this is just an element. So you guys, if you didn't like that smudgy, you could go over and get a different one. I call them smudgies. You can also change the color of your smudgy over here if you wanted to. You can also change the background color. You know what's really cool too about Canva? I will say this all day long. <laughs> You know what else is cool? So I just selected the whole background and I'm like, um, I let's say this one, I just selected the whole background. I don't really like this as the background color. So I want something different. So I'm gonna go click on it. The, the Canva will already pull all of the colors it can kind of see in your what you're designing so that you already have a palette to pick from that kind of matches your subject matter. Does that make sense? I'm trying to say it the best way I can, but it's went and pulled all of the colors for me that are already in here or I've been using in this whole thing so that it's kind of matchy to what I'm already doing. So I don't have to search for what would look like a background color, right? It's pulling some of the colors that are already in here for me and the shades. I love that part. Um, Cause I'm sometimes just want to do things really fast, but you want it to look good too. So um, okay, let's go start from scratch and hit create a design. And I want to do a Facebook post about, um, let's say the credits that I got for last month. I don't know. I'm just want to show you guys something that you might create for yourself. Um, here's one that I did that I had already had this picture no edits you can tell <laughs> um let's make it a background so um i can control and hit background and um i already uploaded this when i was doing the uploads so that i could show you oops i don't want to upload a new one sorry let's go to my uploads oh back here we go go back up to the top and i just wanted to um, show what I wanted to make a post about my customer rewards. So this is another thing that Don was asking about, right? So you see, I, this has too much on the photo. I need to crop this first. So let's crop to just what I want. I just want October. So I can crop that to be exactly what I want in the post. Done. And then if I wanted to still make it bigger, I can. But I don't want to. I just want what I did. So can move this around. Um, you can even make it transparent, right? She was asking me about that. So you can make the transparency mode. Um, you can even put a background on it and do it transparency mode. So some of this just takes time to get um, comfortable with all the different things you can do and know that you can't screw anything up. I want to put this behind it though. So I'm going to click on it, send to back. Now I want to make it transparent. And I also want to make this transparent. Like you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys this too. I want to move both these things up a little bit, like closer to my fingers. Okay. So if I just drag, click and drag, so I click and then I drag over both the elements. It kind of selects everything in one and now I can move it all around together. I don't have to move both separate. This becomes really handy when you have created a bunch of things together. Um, let's say I wanted some arrows on here too so that I could really drive the point home from my fingers. <laughs> I'm just um, being silly here, you guys, but you just so you can see. 
right? Okay, so I wanna move this all down a little bit. I don't wanna to have to do every single thing. So let me just grab all of them and I can move them all down, right? I wanna make the whole thing smaller. I don't have to do each individual thing and try to make it all match. I can do the whole, I can make the whole thing move. And that's just by selecting. And then once I click off of it, it's all individual again, right? I can move them individually. If I want them together again, I just click somewhere on the picture and make sure I get all of them together. Where it becomes tricky is if you have things that are kind of around in it. Let's just use this for fun. Just so I can show you guys. I've got this here and I've got this over here. Okay. And I don't want those, but I want, I want to move all of this. I want to keep these where they're at. It does get a little tricky when I try to move things and I don't want those two flowers selected. Cause if I go up a little bit too far, it's going to select that flower too. And I don't want those. So it does get a little tricky if you have some things around it, you don't want it to move with. Um, so you just kind of got to play with it a little bit. And again, if you can see those bright pink lines, it's directing me to put it centered in the photo. See when that middle line comes up, it's telling me that's middle of the photo, but my fingers might be off a little bit. So it, I might not want it directly centered, but just know that those guides are always there when you click and you start moving stuff so that you can position it correctly. Um, let's see, what time is it? I'm trying to think of what else. Um, any questions? Let me pause again. So if there's any questions. Wow, you guys, I'm either doing a good job or I've put you all to sleep. Um, one thing I learned this morning, and I don't know how many of you guys do anything like this, but let's pretend, let me go here. Let me find one of my um, old designs that I can bring up for you guys. Where's my worksheets at? Okay, let's say here's something that we did for um, like a motivational challenge or whatever. Okay, so this is something that I designed and let's say I wanted to be able to direct them. This is like a PDF, right? So I don't know if you guys do email newsletters for your customers or anything, but you could totally do this. And you can hyperlink stuff back to your website if you're downloading it as a PDF. Now, if you're downloading it as a photo, that's not going to work. You can't really hyperlink things. But let's say that you make a newsletter that goes out to your customers every month or whatever about a new product or whatever. You can make really cool stuff in here and you can make sure that it, it links back to your website. So let's just say this is your website, right? And you want it to go link back there. Or you even just say, learn more about my product and you want it to link it back there. You can select this, sorry, UPS just pulled up dogs are gonna bark. You can hit the link thing right here and then you can type your the website you want them to go to and hit apply. And now when this is a PDF in anything that you've given out to anybody, if they click on it, it's hyperlinked and it's gonna go to my website or wherever I wanna direct them to. Um, so maybe that's a little bit helpful. I saw on a, on a um, something that somebody else was creating about, <laughs> sorry about the dogs, guys, if you can hear them. Um, he did something with saving them as templates. I'm not even going to try to show you guys that because I think I still need to learn how he did that. But basically, like, for example, I have... Um, like I started creating some of my own graphics that I just want to be able to post. I want to put, I, these are the ones I want to schedule out on my business page. Um, so I've made a file of just my, um, my graphics and he's got a way, he was sharing a way that you can save things as a template. Oh, I think it was under here, the arrow down. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it was under this.
Yeah, I don't remember where it was, so I'm not going to try to, to show you guys, but there's a way to save this as like a template so it stays like all your templates you make like those story graphics I just made with the I made those before and couldn't find them anywhere. The last time we had that $25 in credits I was so angry I had to recreate all of them so now I know I got to go back and figure out how he saved his templates in a specific file so that he'd always be able to find his templates the other thing you can do when you're in your all your designs if you know you named something a specific you can like you can type in and find your own stuff in here too by a search because it does save everything you touch so it's there's you know it this can get uh, awfully big awfully fast um i don't know does anybody have any other questions that they want to ask i'm happy to answer questions for a couple minutes or we can hop off I put everybody to sleep. Everybody go night night. Hey, you said um this might look different on on cell phones, right? Um, because I'm not getting it. <laughs> I actually actually you cannot. I would this. never recommend you even start this on a cell phone. That's what I was saying at the beginning. I think it was before you hopped on. Don't bother. I would just say that don't bother. You can edit okay. things from a phone. Um, you can you can create a little bit from the phone, but all the stuff I just showed you, you really need to do it on a computer first, at least. And then you can make some small edits on a phone, but it's just not um, everything that Canva will do. I know that some people will be like, well, you can do that on this app though. And it's easy on the app. Yeah, but not, you can't combine 17 different things and do it all in one app. It's just, there's only so much capability our phones can give us. And when she created this program, you really, it is, it's like um, Photoshop for the simpleton, like the person who doesn't know how to use graphic design programs or any of that, to be able to make some really great graphic design things. But we can't expect that all of that could happen from a phone. We're just not there yet. The only thing I did suggest, and I think it was somebody on your team yesterday, Jojo, um, they ask about their iPad. Well, iPads use apps. So I said, go to Safari, go to Canva.com. Don't download the app. And when it tries to push you into the app, see if you can just go to Canva.com and make um, change on there. I didn't get a chance to do that. I wanted to before this morning and I just have been way too busy to be able to see if that would work. But yeah, unfortunately, just being able to do everything that I showed you from your phone, you'll just get frustrated. And that's why I dropped Canva for like a year. And I wish I would know because there's just so much I've been able to create with it in this last year that I wish I would have been using it a long time ago. It just makes life easy, but you really should be doing it from a computer because of everything it can do. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Now if I can learn how to use this iPad. Huh. <laughs> now that I don't know if I can help you with. <laughs> uh, any other questions? I know some people are like listening into this from um, sporting events and things that they had going on this morning too. So um, maybe we can even um, throw this training up, Carrie Ann, when you get it loaded to YouTube and just create like a thread in Team Believe. And then when people have questions, they can go in there and ask questions in the thread. And if they tag me, I'll see it. Um, and then there's other people that use Canva that might have other tips and tricks. And there's more to it than this, but not that we can cover in an hour. So. I'm even happy like down the road once people start getting a little bit of the hang of it and they want some more tips and tricks, um, like just to dig in a little bit deeper, I'm happy to help. But my best suggestion is get on a computer and just start fiddling with it and see what you can come up with and what you can create. And if you're looking for any templates and you know, just go search, go search the templates for what you're looking to create, you'll get some at least inspiration or ideas. And then even if you want to start over your own, you can, if you want to just edit from theirs, you can, you can take just about every element and change every color. So you can make it your own. I hope this was helpful. You guys have a fabulous Saturday and we will see you tomorrow night on the team huddle.